Hey folks, Randy here doing cut and trim. So I got kind of a cool thing, a new series I think I'm going to work on for uh, for the channel. But uh, I was doing some work with a, a guy and I helped him out with something and uh, uh, to pay me back he gave me this tractor. I don't really have a use for a tractor uh, and I thought about selling it but honestly it needs a lot of work and so the thought occurred to me I would try and put the engine on my walk behind. It's a 20 horsepower V-twin Intec uh, Briggs and Stratton. It is missing some pieces I had to order. Uh, I've ordered the cover for this. Uh, new uh, air filter, all that fun stuff. Um, everything, the engine works fine. Um, the only issue is there's an electrical problem somewhere. Uh, so in order to start it, you have to attach a... a the battery cable directly to the starter to get it running um, but uh, basically the plan is to take this engine off and put it on this mower um, it'll give me a couple things it'll give me battery start which I really want um, so I think that would be cool it'll give me additional power I'll be able to go faster and cut through more um, but I can't have any downtime, so what I'm going to do is just make this as complicated as possible. So the plan is, I'm going to take the, the tractor, I'm going to put it in the shop, take the engine off, and then I'm going to put the engine on this parts board. Uh, this is the exact same frame as uh, the 36 inch that I've been using, um, and it even has a uh, clutch on it, so I can make sure everything's going to work, everything will fit as it should. So the first thing I gotta do is see if I can put air in these tires. You can see both tires look like that. I don't know if they'll hold in the air. I don't need them to hold air for long, just long enough for me to get it off the trailer and the shop. So let's see what happens. That should be enough. Turn the key to the on position. Alright, so now that we got the tractor in here, um, I think we need, well, actually, are we going to need to get the deck off? So pleasantly enough, I don't think we're actually going to need to take the, uh, the deck off to get this engine off. Okay, so now we're in there. It is really gross under here. Uh, I guess we're going to start taking stuff apart. So who wants to bet, and how much, that that pulley's stuck on there? I don't have to remove the belts and stuff, but uh, I've just got a feeling. I'll be darned, it's not stuck. Just got to take the belts off. Oh, that's cool. I was really expecting that to be stuck on there. Uh, of course, I'm having an electrical problem out here, so...
we go. All right. Yeah, probably the next thing I should do is probably disconnect the wiring where I can. So just. Most of the wiring disconnected. Just gotta disconnect the uh, ground, which uh, Dr. Who went on disconnecting the engine. Uh, disconnect the uh, starter. And uh, other than that, yeah, just the fuel line and uh, the throttle linkages. That's it. Let's see, does this control both at the same time? No. Oh, it does. Huh. Oh, you know what? This must be the throttle. No, you know what? That's, I'm sorry, that's the choke. And this is the throttle. I'm an amateur, you know, in case you couldn't tell. So I already can see an issue that's going to be, uh, I don't know how much of a problem, but it'll definitely be a problem is this muffler. I'm going to have to figure out something different for the muffler. That is not going to work. New little 3 8. Kind of, kind of excited to see how this sucker goes. So small. <laughs> electric in my shop still isn't right so I'm gonna have to buzz them all through off the rest of the way with this sucker right, so the engines disconnected uh, I'm not sure if I need to disconnect the um, muffler or not.